Hi, I'm Jacob Sivulski. Welcome to R. R, Data Analytics and Data Visualization. Welcome back. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to do simple data analysis and plotting in R. Um, this is the R Studio uh, with R's console in it. Uh, you can see on the right hand side my working directory, uh, which contains a data folder full of um, files, CSV files. And uh, here we're going to work with uh, uh, Victorian local government uh, areas and the profiles of those areas. I also have um, a folder for my sources and uh, one of the sources I'm going to open, uh, data analysis and plotting. And um, as indicated in the previous lesson, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to let R know where is my working directory. Having done that, I could read files uh, relative to this working directory. Uh, just check that it is done. Yep, indeed. Um, now, what I explained in the previous lesson is that um, you could actually send commands from your editor into the console by pressing Control Enter. So, Control Enter, and the command has been sent and executed in my R console. So, what I'm going to do is to read the data about Victorian local government areas. This data comes from the Australian Department of Health and Human Services. And when I read it, I can actually look at the data set. So it's here, 79 observations for 79 local government areas of 390 variables. I can actually see all those variables statistics here and I can look at the table itself. This is called a data frame. It's got the name of this local government area, a number of variables called Geo1, Geo2, Geo3. The names are arbitrary and they are geolocation information. There's information about the population. There is information about ancestry information about other areas. Social engagement R actually limits the amount of information you could display in this way. What's important that before I read it in, the, the data comes in a big Excel spreadsheet. Um, I changed the, the naming conventions for each column. They were very descriptive, so I made those very um, cryptic um, variable names. And I had to change the format of all numeric values, especially those which showed percent signs. R will not treat percent signs as part of the number. It will assume that this is text, so I changed them into um, a dot format, um, a, a decimal point format. So we read it, we can view it. Um, since uh, all of the uh, um, data comes in columns and each column is a variable, we can access individual variables by indicating dollar and variable name. Note that in R, dot is like any other letter. So it does not signify access to the structure of a variable. So lga.profile is just a variable name, whereas lga.profile dollar lga it actually indicates that you want to access the column lga in this variable or in this matrix this matrix is called a data frame in r so we could actually assign whole columns of this matrix or data frame to individual variables so variable lga to lga population dot 23 it refers to number of people in each local government area. Uh, LJ profile dollar well being dot five. It indicates uh, the number of people who are not feeling well. Represented as a percent sign, so I 
multiplied by 1000. So I'll know how many people are not well per thousand and the percentage of smokers. Each of those variables you can see in um, the global environment, it's been assigned a value. Note that LGA profile special is a data frame or a matrix of values. It has metadata. It has information about the type of each column and statistics. That is not the case with other variables. So let's look at those other variables. Not well. Uh, it has 79 values from that column. We can plot it. Looks pretty random. We could do the histogram. It's very, very quick. Same thing for smokers and histogram. And we could plot one against the other. The X axis will have smokers, dy not well, and in red color and the title. We could do box, play to a box plot to identify the mean and any outliers of both variables. Another data structure in R, which represents structural structured information is a matrix. And we could create a matrix by binding two variables into um, its columns of the matrix. So here it is, control enter. Matrix was created, but it's different from a data frame. Um, we have no metadata attached to it, and therefore um, R will not know what are the variables inside. It's just a bundle of numbers. But it could, those numbers could be used and accessed um, by specifying row numbers and column numbers. We could access individual cells in this matrix or the whole um, <clears throat> uh, two columns, one row. So basically I say, give me a row number two across all columns. If we construct a data frame consisting of small groups and not well, it's a different data structure. You can see here it's got metadata. It's treated specially. Um, it's just like a database. It's a table. It's like a spreadsheet uh, with named columns. It looks very similar, but the main difference is it consists of variables. So we could find the mean of variable smokers, the maximum of variable not well. Whereas for the matrix, that's not appropriate. But we could still calculate the mean. We could say, what is the mean of all values stored in column two? Oops, what did I do? I did not refer to the matrix, of course. Let's fix it. And I get some value. Uh, let's plot it again. It's very quick. Um, this is just a bundle of values. We could, we plotted the matrix. If we plot a data frame, you can see and R is much more efficient. It can refer to the variables of the data structure, of the data frame direct, and assumes that the first one smokers is X, the second not well is the Y, and we could then produce additional information, like we could draw um, the mean, the line going across um, um, the entire chart, denoting uh, the position of the mean across all values x. Is the mean calculated from the values of y, of course. We could make it much nicer by slowly building this chart. So I'm going to draw first just empty chart. Note that I use type N means do not display any information, but we passed the data frame to plotting function. It will know what are the variables and what variables we could refer to if needed. And what I'm going to do, hypothetically, just imagine that I would want to create um, the mean line and then from each of the points, I'm going to descend the line to the mean. 
So I'm drawing first all those lines. And now I'm going to draw the line and then the points at the end of each line. So it's a nice way of showing how far each of the data points is from the mean. And it shows it very visually and very pretty. What I'm going to do next is to identify that local government area where the health of people is the worst. That means people don't feel very well. What is it? How can I find out? For that, I'm going to use a library Calibrate. Um, a library is a package. And you can see here Calibrate already used before. It's ticked. It means it's installed and current. If you don't have a Calibrate in user library or system library, then you could install from tools. Install packages. Calibrate one of them. Click and install with all its dependencies. I'm not going to do it because I've done it before. I activated it and I can start using it, but we'll wait for using it uh, for a while. First of all, uh, let's find out what is the maximum value of not feeling well. That means what is the value across Y axis here? 291, which roughly looks like it's right. Uh, now I'm going to find out where is this value in the variable not well. So match. Let's look what match does. It returns a vector of the positions of matches of the first argument in the second. So it tries to find this value in this vector. It's position 26. So we could count it, or we could simply say, show me in LGA position 26. It is greater than the long. So I'm going to build up this slowly and then display the text greater than the long next to this value. So first, let's put position, the location, 26. So not well is simply 26, value 26. And then I'm going to pass the string to the function called text xy. That means it will display specific text, like in this case, greater than the long, at position 20, the, the xy position, which means the value of smokers, the value of not well, x and y coordinates, and a little offset. Okay, let's do that. The value is shown a bit perhaps too close to the dot, and we could adjust it by adjusting the offset. So what we've done, it's a very, very quick way through um, exploration of a data set which is loaded as a data frame, accessing the variables of the data frame, creating matrices, um, manipulating rows and columns of matrices and data sets, and plotting. And uh, we have lots of options in simple plots. So thank you, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson.